Hi friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. Today in this video, we'll talk about how to move folders from one location to another location. As of now, you have seen only how to copy files and how to move files. And also you have seen in my previous video that I have shown how to move all the files from one location to another location and delete the empty location, empty folder from the source. So that was the walk around of how to move folders to another location but now today i'm going to show you how to directly move folder from one location to another location it means whatever folders contains in that folder that will be also moved to the other location if you'll search here in the activities with the name move we are just getting move file right only move file we are not getting move folder so how can we do that this one so there are two ways here i will show you in a different different way first i will show you with the use of invoke method you can search here in the activities invoke method just drag and drop this one now here we have target type target object and method name now we need two things first we need one folder it means our source directory and one that is destination directory now let me come here and here you can see i have one folder that is move from so i want to move files all the folders from th these two folders from this folder to one location that is move to or i can create any folder so I will just take this one as a source location. I will create one variable here that is source directory and I'm going to put the default value that is move from. Now I'm going to create one more variable that is destination directory and this will be I'm going to paste the same thing but now I am going to change the name of that location because I, I now I want to move folders to another location that will be moved to now I'm not going to pass I'm not going to create any folder with the name move to that will be automatically created whenever this process will be executed you can see here now what we can do we have two variables now in the invoke method we have to use system dot io dot directory select this one now in the method name you need to write move and then we need parameters here that is two parameters one which will pass source directory and second that will pass destination directory now you can see here we are passing move that is method name and two parameters that will be that will go to in in direction string source directory and destination directory and we are already having values in this these two variables now let me run this we are ready to run this one run this file so what you will see here move from automatically folders will be moved from move from to move to now you can see here we have folder that is move to and all these two folders that was inside that move from is moved to the this folder right now one thing i can show you here let me just change this name move from and if you'll create a folder with the name move to and we are passing this this value here that is move to and now if you will use this move method name then you can see what will happen you will get one error so whenever you are getting this error it means what you need to do it is saying here cannot create a file when that file already exists it means this method will create 
the same directory same destination directory folder name so there is no need to create a folder here automatically it will create a folder and move these folders to inside that folder right so first method you have seen using method name move and do not create a destination folder here directly pass that folder name and automatically this folder name will be created and that folders will be moved to that second method i'm going to show you that you need to use method that is move directory now you can see if we are using move directory we are getting one error that is there are some errors we are getting here now how can we fix that one so you know this move directory method is a part of microsoft visual basic dot net that that one so you need to click on this target type click on browse for types and search here microsoft dot visual basic dot and now here you need to write file i o dot file system you need to select this one microsoft dot visual basic dot file io dot file system and now you will see here it is working fine the error is gone now now you can see again here in the parameter we need two two parameters that is source directory and destination directory now there is one benefit here if you are using this target type with this method here i have move from option and i am also creating move to folder right and now if i will run this one this method so what will happen it will not throw an error it will work here how it will move that folders to the move to and now you can see here we have all these folders available here it means this move directory method with the microsoft visual basic file system it's working fine if we are passing destination directory folder also but if you are passing destination directory and we are using move method with the system.io.directory that will not work right so you got it now third option what i can show you here let me just do one thing let me change this move from now other things i am also going to show you let me just put in the ignore activities now you can search for invoke code this invoke code we are going to use to invoke vb.net or csap.net code right side in the properties you can select vb.net or csap so by default we have vb.net so i am going to use vb.net no problem now in the edit arguments create two argument name one for the source directory and second for destination directory now in the source directory we need to pass our variable name from where we'll be passing the value so we have source directory that we have the variable you have seen here right now in the second one will pass here destination directory now click ok and we are passing all these two are string data type now click on edit code and now here you need to write vb.net code and that is only one line code that will work here what you need to do directory dot move right and then open close bracket here you need to write source directory our that parameter that's that argument name and then destination directory that is our destination parameter name right so we have directory dot move source directory comma destination directory now click ok and now we are ready to run this one and you will see here let me uh, okay here we have move from and we have folders now let me run this click on run file and you will see here it will work fine without throwing any error so 
it depends on you you can see here it's it is working fine here all these folders move to the move to folder right now let me show you the other thing here in the in this invoke code now as you have seen we have one more option that is microsoft dot visual basic dot file io file io dot file system file system dot and then you can write here move directory open close bracket paste here and we are ready to run this method also move directory that's a part of microsoft visual basic dot net and what you need to do just go and run that one and you'll see here in front of you that will work fine without throwing any error and you have seen now that is moved to the folder move to and this is working fine and you are able to successfully move folders from one location to another location i hope that you will you will like this one if so please press the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel and please subscribe my blue prism rpa channel if you want to learn blue prism and also just subscribe that to support me thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much